In this segment, I'd like to show you the different um, equipment that I bought locally from, from different stores um, that you have access to, like Target and Walmart, and the dollar store. I go to the dollar store a lot. Um, this is a unit I've done on hockey, and um, this is the hockey stick that I've used. It's got a clear uh, part to it that sounds like a drum. Uh, and there's a lot of vibration coming up um, the hockey stick, letting the student know that he has made contact. Uh, also, a lot of our students like the feedback that they get from hitting things or throwing things. And for a student that might need a smaller target, then there's one that we have used. But it does make a sound. This is an example of a record type game, a bat type game. Um, I got it for, for its high contrast, the colors. Uh, so with a student who has low vision but can see what they're doing, they can actually make contact with the shuttlecock and, and, and see it where it lands and also see the bat in contrast to the floor or what's around them. These are some balls that I got from different uh, conferences I've been to. Uh, this one's a bit weighted. It's made of plastic. Um, these ones are like Nerf balls, but they've got all the different sizes uh, for different hand sizes, the holes for different hand sizes, and also different colors. And what I like about them is that they're different textures for students who are into textures. And I've adapted a ramp uh, by using a, a child's slide, a little baby slide. And the pins are a set of pins that, that babies would play with and I've attached bells to them. And what a, what a student would do is bowl and put the ball on the ramp and push it down the ramp and score. So that's the adaptation for bowling. This is for the older students who are into bowling and go into bowling alleys but don't understand how the pins are and how they are set um, down, down the alley. Um, I've, I've, I've created this so that they can count the pins. We also show them real pins, but then when they score and we tell them, all right, you've knocked down three pins, then this is their, what they would do, count out the three pins and count the, the pins that were still standing so that they'd know uh, where, where to, to aim at or also how many pins to target. So um, in, in teaching uh, the bowling game, then we are tying it up with their math skills as well. These are some modified goals. Um, I picked them in Tuesday morning and at Target. This is one that gives the student feedback immediately that they've scored a goal uh, as soon as uh, they touch they hear uh, that they've scored a goal. Um, in this bigger one, it's made, it's homemade. It's made out of PVC pipe, and it was made here on campus. And all we got was some old net, put it around it. It's very well used. Uh, we've got a lot of visual um, targets for the kids to look at, lots of bells, so they get feedback as the balls uh, hit into the goal and they learn about scoring a goal. In terms of the soccer balls, we've used the real soccer ball, which you all know. But I've also used volleyballs, depending on my students' vision and needs, um, and deflated. Um, and so they, they can easily kick the ball towards the goal and score a goal. 
or if they have problems with kicking and have problems with their feet, then even the bigger ball kicked into the goal post gives them the feedback uh, and they've scored a goal. And uh, these are, are found in, in, in Target, in Walmart, for teaching soccer skills. I like using them because they, they give my students um, feedback as to where is the ball that they're going to kick, where is it. Um, as you've noticed, they've got belts and, and straps for their arms. I don't let them use it that way. I like them to keep it in one, in one hand so that they know exactly where the ball is so that they can kick it and whatever skill that we are doing um, they, they can follow the ball by knowing where it is at the end of the, of the string and the net. They'll know exactly where it is and we're not running all over the gym um, picking balls or looking for balls. But it's an excellent item. I've also used this for volleyball by stringing it up in the air then the ball's not going everywhere, it's going to come back towards the student. Of course, it's high enough um, and, and we teach them the, the, the volleyball skills uh, with that very, very, very rudimentary volleyball skills.